Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about classic talents. So if you haven't tried playing classic or the old expansions after classic, um, you maybe don't know how the talent system is actually working because the talent system we have now with Warcraft is actually pretty easy. But in old days we didn't have it very easy. I mean, I have been playing the whole classic and talents was actually a different thing. So let me show you how talents actually works in classic. So by opening up talents, you can see here that we have a tab for each section like in Battle of Azeroth. We have one for elemental, one for enhancement, one for restoration. When you are maximum level in the game, you have six, well, 51 points you can actually use. At the moment, I only have 49 because I'm only level 58. So I need two levels before maximum. But how it actually works is that you have these points, <laughs> points, points, you can use an elemental enhancement restoration. And the cool thing is, you probably think, okay, so I can only choose restoration or enhancement or elemental. No, you can actually mix, you can mix all this, all this between each other. But the bad thing is that you cannot use like 30 here, uh, sorry, 25 here and 25 here. You can. But what you're going to miss is the best ability. In each of the talents row, you will get one from requires 31 points in this tree. So for example, enhancement is getting storm strike. That is like the best attack they can get. Elemental is getting elemental mastery. It's a buff where they get it, get insane critical strike. And restoration is getting this mana tie totem that is giving all the healers all the mana back. And of course, if you don't want any of these, you can go half half restoration enhancement or so on so for example if i want to play a healer as a restoration and i also want to be a bit you could say maybe offensive or maybe a bit, a bit tanky so what i could do is okay so here we have the talents so okay i want to reduce the mana cost of my healing spells i want to reduce the mana cost of my totems i want to give you 70 chance to avoid interruption caused by damage while casting so that means while you cast spells you have a chance to actually be uh, fall back and you can see when you when you cast a healing spell this bar if you get attacked it falls back it's like getting back you're getting it takes a longer time to cast spells mm -hmm. but this one here is actually making it so when you get attacked it's easy for you to heal of course in a pve where you don't get aggro it it doesn't really is not really good but keep in mind it's classic the tanks is not what they are in battle first rod so healers are getting aggro just for doing healing so that's how it is the next one is i could increase the mana i'm getting from a mana spring totem and he healing from a healing spring totem and uh, we can take the nature swiftness where our next heal and well next healing ability is this instant cast uh your healing wave spells have 100 percent chance to increase the effect of subsequent healing Wave spells are the type of 6% for 15 seconds, blah, 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 blah. Increase the critical effect chance of your healing and lightning spells. Increase the effectiveness of your healing spells. That's quite good. And mana tie totem. So now we have the most important talent, you would probably say. We can say this is kind of the most important talent for our a restoration i mean i'm not saying this is the, the, the build that every restoration will play with i'm just saying that this could be the best thing so now i still have 18 normally 21 if i was maximum level and now i can mix around what i could do is i could for example go to elemental and get some more damage on my spells and reduce the cost of my spells and reduce the damage taken from fire frost and nature effects that would be pretty cool in molten core to get some fire resistance um, I could also go to enhancement and actually get some more mana. So increase my mana. So now I got 5% more mana. That means I will be able to now cast healing, more healing spells. Increase the chance to block attacks with a shield. That would actually be pretty cool for a um, restoration because we are using shield. So why not? Um, <laughs> increase your chance to dodge. Mm, increase the effect of your strange if i mean i just want some dodge and increase your armor 
there we go. So now if I was maximum level, I would be able to maximum this one here and I would have more armor. So all these enhancement talents here is actually helping me for being a more tanky healer. So that means I have my good healing talents here and I have some tanky passives here that would help me in surviving as a restoration shaman. So that's actually pretty cool. So the same if you are playing elemental shaman, you could go up in elemental to 31, go a bit tanky here, or even go for some bit some more healing. So you can be like elemental slash a bit healer. It's actually quite cool. So if you didn't know about this talent system, well, you know now that you can actually you can mix and mix and tape a, a little bit. You know what I mean. The same for tanks. Tanks can go up in the tank one, and then they can go a bit off of the healing. If you're playing Paladin or Druid, for example, and then you can go a bit healing and you can be like, you know, kind of tank healing. Could actually be pretty cool. So, I mean, this was just a little note for you, a little tutorial guide helping on how the talents is actually working and so on. Just a free tip. If you're getting a, a new spell from your talents, um, it's actually only rank one. You have to go to your spell trainer and actually get upgrading your spell so you have to upgrade this manatee totem so it actually becomes a highest rank because you're just getting the lowest rank here and now i have to go to my class trainer and get a higher rank i'm probably able to get it up to rank three so yeah there it is so thanks guys for watching and um well see you in the next video and if you have any questions or thing you want to see in classic leave down in the comments and i will make it happen so Peace out and see you in the next episode.